On a quiet, moonlit night, in the heart of nowhere, stood an eerie and abandoned mansion. Its walls, once grand and imposing, were now tangled in ivy, as if nature itself sought to reclaim this desolate place. The mansion had long been forgotten, its windows shattered, its halls echoing with silence. But on this particular night, the moon cast an ethereal glow upon its decaying facade, revealing the haunted secrets that lay within. The ivy, like a sinister embrace, clung to the mansion's walls, as if nature were holding on to its own dark memories. It was a place where the line between the living and the dead seemed blurred, where the past whispered secrets that had never been meant to be heard. As the moonlight bathed the mansion in its ghostly light, it seemed to beckon those who dared to explore its long-forgotten corridors. But those who entered knew they were entering a world where the shadows held the darkest of secrets. The abandoned mansion, with its ivy-covered walls and moonlit sky, stood as a silent testament to the mysteries of the night a place where the past and the present converged in a chilling dance of darkness. As the moonlight bathed the mansion in its ghostly light, it seemed to beckon those who dared to explore its long-forgotten corridors. And on this fateful night, a family of four cautiously approached, drawn by a curiosity they couldn't resist. Their footsteps echoed through the dimly lit mansion, a dusty labyrinth of forgotten memories. The family moved cautiously, their flashlights cutting through the darkness, revealing the grandeur that once was, now cloaked in decay. Every creaking floorboard and whisper of the wind seemed to speak of the mansion's tragic history. But the family pressed on, driven by a need to uncover the truth hidden within these haunted walls. The abandoned mansion, with its ivy-covered walls and moonlit sky, stood as a silent testament to the mysteries of the night a place where the past and the present converged in a chilling dance of darkness. And in the heart of this eerie mansion, amid the dust and the dim light, there stood an old mirror, its glass cloaked in a veil of time. It was a mirror that had witnessed the passage of centuries, and within its cloudy surface lay secrets long forgotten. The mirror's glass, once clear and pristine, now bore the scars of age, as if it had absorbed the sorrow of countless souls. Each clouded patch told a story, each imperfection hinted at the pain that had been reflected within its frame. The mirror's frame, ornate and intricate, seemed to mock the passage of time. It was a relic of a bygone era, a time when beauty and darkness intermingled in the grandeur of this mansion. As we gaze into the cloudy depths of this mirror, we're drawn into a realm where the line between reality and the supernatural blurs, and where the truth is as elusive as the shadows that dwell within. As we turn our attention back to the mirror, we begin to witness a transformation. In its cloudy glass, where once there was obscurity, now emerge haunting specters and mysterious shapes. Ghostly apparitions, their faces twisted in anguish, materialize within the mirror's depths. They are the echoes of those who lived and suffered within the mansion's walls, trapped in an eternal torment. Strange and unsettling forms take shape alongside the apparition's twisting shadows, contorted shapes that defy reason. They are the embodiment of the mansion's dark history, the horrors that have festered within. The family of four, who had ventured into this forsaken place, now stand witness to the mirror's macabre revelations. Fear and disbelief wash over them as they confront the chilling truth of the mansion's past. What they see within the mirror is a reflection not just of the mansion's history, but of their own destiny intertwined with the spirits that dwell within. The mirror has become a portal to a realm where the living and the dead collide. The mirror, once a mere object of curiosity, now holds the family captive in a nightmarish realm of phantoms and shadows. Will they find a way to break free from the malevolent grip of this haunted looking glass? The mirror's surface, once shrouded in obscurity, now becomes a portal to the otherworldly realm where the living and the dead converge in a chilling embrace. As the family of four watches in terror, a ghostly figure begins to materialize within the mirror's depths. It's a presence that defies the laws of the living, a specter from the darkest corners of the mansion's history. Slowly, it emerges from the mirror's cloudy glass, a phantom of despair and longing. Its outstretched hand, gnarled and skeletal, reaches toward the family with an insatiable hunger. The family stands paralyzed, their faces etched with terror, as they confront this spectral intruder from the mirror. It's a moment that transcends reality a terrifying encounter with the supernatural. 
the ghostly figure's movements are deliberate, purposeful. It seeks to bridge the gap between its world and theirs, to draw them into a nightmarish embrace from which there may be no escape. In the presence of this vengeful apparition, the family is confronted with a choice to confront the horror that has emerged from the mirror or to retreat into the safety of the unknown. As the family cautiously explores the eerie mansion, their journey takes them deeper into the heart of darkness. In the dim light, they discover a hidden passage an ominous, curving staircase that seems to descend into the very depths of the unknown. The staircase, shrouded in shadows, beckons them with an air of foreboding. It's a portal to a world concealed from prying eyes a secret chamber concealed within the mansion's haunted heart. With each creaking step, the family descends further into the abyss, their senses heightened by the oppressive silence that surrounds them. The air grows colder, and their footsteps echo in eerie resonance. Fear and curiosity intermingle on their faces as they inch closer to the hidden room's entrance. What awaits them at the bottom of this dark descent? What secrets lie in the chamber's inky depths? The hidden room remains elusive, its secrets concealed by layers of time and secrecy. But the family knows that they are on the brink of uncovering something that could change everything. In the heart of this forsaken mansion, the family of four finds themselves in a room bathed in dim, eerie light. Their faces bear the unmistakable marks of fear, their eyes reflecting the terror that surrounds them. Huddled together, they seek solace in each other's presence a fragile sense of unity in the face of the unknown. The room itself seems to close in around them, its walls echoing with the whispers of the past. The room holds secrets of its own a cracked and peeling wallpaper, faded photographs of long-forgotten faces, and a chilling stillness that hangs in the air like a shroud. Every sound, every shadow, is a source of unease, a reminder that they are not alone in this haunted place. Their breaths come in shallow gasps, their hearts pound in unison, as they confront the unrelenting terror of the mansion. In the dim, flickering light, their vulnerability is exposed, and their bond as a family is tested like never before. But they know that to survive the horrors that await, they must stand together. As the family huddles together in the dimly lit room, fear coursing through their veins, they remain unaware of the sinister presence that lurks just behind them a see-through spectre from another realm, a ghostly visitor from the mansion's dark past. Their attention is fixed on the room's unsettling surroundings, yet they remain oblivious to the ethereal entity hovering, like a wisp of fog, behind one of their own. The ghostly apparition is a translucent figure, its features faded but unmistakable. It lingers just beyond the family member, an insubstantial presence that defies the laws of the living. The family member, unaware of the spectre's proximity, continues to sit in fearful contemplation, as if the ghostly figure were a mere shadow in their peripheral vision. Slowly, the ghost becomes more defined, its intentions unclear. Is it a harbinger of doom, a messenger from the past, or something else entirely? The room's atmosphere thickens with uncertainty. As the ghostly figure hovers, the family teeters on the brink of a chilling revelation one that will blur the line between reality and the supernatural, and forever change the course of their nightmarish journey. As the family sits together in the dimly lit room, fear etched into their faces, they find themselves enveloped not only in the present terror but also in the haunting echoes of the past's scary flashbacks that reveal the gruesome fates of those who once inhabited this cursed house. Their attention turns inward as disturbing visions begin to unfold before their very eyes. In these terrifying flashbacks, they are transported back in time, bearing witness to the horrors that befell those who crossed the threshold of the mansion. In these nightmarish scenes, they see the previous occupants of the mansion, their lives unraveled by malevolent forces. Shadows of despair and doom, each person met a bad end of fate sealed by their connection to the cursed abode. The family members watch in helpless horror, unable to look away from the gruesome tales of tragedy that have unfolded within these haunted walls. The room seems to pulsate with the pain and suffering of those who once called it home. In these terrifying glimpses of the past, they witness the fates of these ill-fated souls a relentless descent into madness, chilling confrontations with malevolent spirits, and a darkness that consumed them whole. 
The family is left haunted by the knowledge that they are treading the same perilous path a path paved with the blood-curdling history of those who met bad ends within the walls of this cursed mansion. As the family sits together in the dimly lit room, fear transforms into a steely resolve. They've journeyed through the horrors of the haunted mansion, and now, they face their ultimate challenge a showdown with the malevolent spirits that refuse to release their grip. Their eyes meet, each family member silently acknowledging the gravity of their situation. They know that they must confront the terrifying specters that have haunted their every step, for the mirror itself holds the key to their salvation. The mirror, once a passive observer of their torment, now pulses with an otherworldly energy. Its cloudy glass shimmers with an eerie, powerful light a beacon of both hope and dread. Together, the family readies themselves for the final battle, arming themselves with determination and courage. Their very survival depends on their ability to confront the relentless phantoms that have tormented them. The ghosts, sensing the family's defiance, grow more malevolent and vengeful. Their eerie wails and menacing apparitions fill the room, creating an atmosphere of dread that seems insurmountable. And then, it begins the epic clash between the living and the dead, a battle that transcends the physical realm. The mirror, awash with newfound power, unleashes a force that neither the family nor the ghosts can fully comprehend. In this climactic moment, the mirror's power becomes a weapon, a catalyst for change. It's a force that will determine the fate of the family and the restless spirits that haunt this cursed mansion. As the epic battle between the family and the vengeful spirits reached its crescendo, the mirror's power surged, illuminating the room with blinding light. The mansion quaked as if it were about to collapse upon itself. In that moment of chaos and uncertainty, the line between the living and the dead became indistinct, and the mirror itself seemed to transcend its physical form. And then, as quickly as it began, it was over. The mirror's radiant energy subsided, leaving the room in a profound stillness. The family members, battered and shaken, found themselves surrounded not by malevolent spirits, but by a newfound serenity. The spirits, their torment at an end, dissipated like morning mist. The mansion, once a place of dread, now bore an air of quietude. The mirror, once cloudy and enigmatic, now reflected clarity a symbol of the family's triumph over the supernatural forces that had plagued them. The family emerged from the mansion, forever changed by their harrowing ordeal. They knew that they had faced the darkest of horrors and emerged victorious a testament to the strength of family bonds and the resilience of the human spirit. The mansion, once a prison for tormented souls, stood in the light of day, its malevolence dispelled. It was a reminder that even in the face of the supernatural, courage and unity could conquer the most chilling of nightmares. And so, our story comes to an end a tale of darkness, redemption, and the power of family. But remember, in the corners of the world, where shadows linger and secrets dwell, the line between the living and the dead is often thinner than we dare to imagine. In case if you like my videos, please subscribe my channel for more regular videos. Thank you guys for staying with us until the end.